Hey y'all, welcome back to another day. The new white t-shirt, it is a new day. We are here at our capital of San Lorenzo, getting ready to continue our war against the, uh, who was it that we were fighting? Are they the Greeks or something? I don't remember, but we're fighting them. And we are uh, in the process of figuring out kind of how how our global contract conquest is kind of going to work here. Uh, we have these areas that are influenced heavily by us. Um, Intan, our battle was uh, victorious. Laventa's population increased. San Lorenzo's population declined. That's fine. Um, so we, we have hit this issue once again where we currently have an extra city. Science Osmosis. To learn trade expeditions in seven turns. Interesting. Dismiss that offer. You earn instantaneous 15 boost. Or we can just unlock this trade expedition. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Trade expeditions unlocked. Make some cash out of it. Okay. Cool. So. Ogma needs to attach to probably Dur Kargalazu. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Don't I have something up here as well? Or is that not a thing? This area is all attached, I believe, to our capital. Oh, looks like we have a event to our capital. The Flooded Lands 2. The Great Dyke was considered a rapid was constructed in rapid time at your behest. The provided choice and provident choice. It turned out to be two. The deluge didn't relent. Despite the endless rain, San Lorenzo and his people and property, nice. Bountiful in San Lorenzo. Cool. So we just get a nice little positive payout from our uh, conquest there. So these guys are all waiting currently. Uh, are we still crafting? Yeah, we're still making dudes. So keep, keep all these boys waiting. Can I... Like, level these guys up or something? Ooh, disbanding units. You can disband a unit on friendly territories, sending a population to their outposter city. Good way to remove underpowered units from the map while gaining workers in your cities. Oh, that's also very interesting. Okay. Well, we're keeping these warriors, though. We're going to keep healing. Cool. Uh, what else do we have going on here? These guys are just waiting because we're about to have With even more of these shift, guys. You can protect your interests far from home and maybe redefine what those interests are. I agree. Protecting our interests far from home and redefining what those interests are. Eventually we'll stop being a warmongering nation. Um, but until then, you keep healing. You keep healing. Uh, these guys... Are ready to rumble. Get them over here. Because we are at war, sir. And what else do we got? These boys are... These ones actually are our underpowered units. Um, I don't know if there's anything I can super do about that. So we're currently um, occupying this settlement. Which I don't actually know what this means. Does it just mean that, like... Hmm... Construction queues are blocked. Like, at, in a matter of time, we're gonna, like, have the influence that we, uh, that we need for this place, probably. We'll be fine. Uh, Durkalazu is going to... I mean, we should get you on this, uh, infrastructure pipeline here. Let's just go ham. Get you lined up with everyone else. Because I think that we have... We currently have enough uh, manpower to get some good work done here. Uh, these guys are waiting until further notice. The wages of war. The ongoing war is draining experience for the Empire. Your many armies fighting across the land, costing you capital, resources, and of course blood. The question of funding these endeavors should be addressed. Show details. Oh, yeah, we can, um, army wages. Stability on cities that we occupy, stability on garrison, plus 2% money from ransacking, plus 4 combat strength bonus when ransacking. So this would be homeland versus world. Interesting. 
Uh, this is a really expensive one. We have some other stuff that we want to enact, right? Like the slavery one, for example. Either war slaves or criminal slaves, which are both awful. Um, but... Plus one population per ransack. We would probably go with this civic. I mean, I would like to just not have slaves. Would that, wouldn't that be grand? Multiculturalism. Influence boost? Influence boost is nice. They Let's say take this influence alloys boost. are stronger than pure metals. I guess we're going to see how far that metaphor applies to human society. Let's see how far that metaphor applies. Um, okay. Let me keep moving myself up a little bit here. Because I know that we do have, uh... Let's see. Looks like I got one more turn on these dudes. Uh, everyone up here is waiting. You are also waiting. These guys up here. We will continue our march. Very soon. Very soon. We end the turn. We lose the population up there. Attitude change. The Greeks feel differently about us. I wonder why. Um, hold on. Let me get whatever this thing is. The land and freedom. The empire is vast, glorious land of mountains and grasslands, stretching countless leagues and full of wonders and mysteries. Over many generations, your people have subdued many of its corners. But now you must ask the question, to whom do these lands truly belong? Land rights. Uh, this will allow communal land. The fruits of the earth shall be enjoyed by all, a uh, communist brother. And inherited land. Family trees be best cultivate the soils. Capitalism? Gross. All right, we will we will deal with that eventually. Um, we will someday have enough. Go ahead and merge these two parties together, and see what there is that we can see here. At war, your armies are now invading another empire's lands. You can ransack any district that doesn't have fortification value. Uh, for example, isolated district harbors. In order to start besieging a city, stand at the bottom of its walls and right-click inside of the fortifications as if you were attacking an army. Understood. Uh, so, like, these guys could probably come ransack this thing. Um, these guys can... What the heck? Why can't I just go here? That would take three turns. Interesting. You head up that way. You also head up this way. In turn. Army's incoming, but we are competent. And competent. That we can beat them. Um, side of struggle overall. Let's just do an instant resolution. Victory, 100 to 0. They barely even touched us. Aristar unlocked. A new war. Aristar has been unlocked. Victory of the Battle of Nuskin. Um, what is this? An administrative center? So, can I or can I not ransack these areas? Kind of the question that I'm going for here. There's no city here, which means this is attached to another city that's off here somewhere. Go ahead and ransack, uh... Yeah, ransack this spot. What is happening here? We're under attack! By who? Um... Who are you? Is this just a random... tribe that's not, uh... Manual battle, I guess? All we have are citizens? Uh, and deployment, yeah. I think we're gonna be okay here, but this is still flanking. Uh, yeah, it makes them stronger, I understand that. Uh, that's a little... a little sketchy. Where did these guys come from? Here, maybe? Have I been seeing these dudes, like, making their way to my, uh... To my base this whole time. You go there, you go there. 
You defend. Defend, defend, defend. Everybody gets to defend. And hopefully... Not super suck at everything, okay? It is kind of costing them. These are not these are not warriors, dude. You can attack there. Oh, well, I guess maybe these are warriors. We just have a warrior race. These citizens are kind of badass. Don't you attack my walls. We will attack you! Get him! How dare I doubt you guys. Killing it. Okay, and turn. Munitions in Napata. A rebellion will occur if you don't raise its stability. I understand. How do I raise its stability? Stability is on the way down. Probably because I don't have any troops there, huh? To occupy it. New wonder can be claimed. Ooh. Close to a war victory. The Greeks have a war support of 18. Cool. Um, please allow me to defeat you the rest of the way, oh Greeks. Um... Excuse me, I can't help but notice there's not a lot of... Aha! A capital! Uh, so, if I only need... I might only need one uh, unit. This is turn 100. We're officially a third of the way through. Um, blossoming of belief. The religious feelings is strong across the Empire, but that is not preventing discord from emerging from amongst the faithful. Good program. Great cities are finding themselves under the sway of diverse religious leaders who each see a standard creed with different eyes. New religious orders are emerging every year and their influence is growing. What should we do for these groups? Um, I like tolerant. Each citizen must find their own way to the divine. Let's Reaching do that. the end of an ideology axis isn't extremist. Think of it as being focused, yes? Very goal-oriented. <laughs> Think of it as being focused, yes? Very goal-oriented. Conquest has been resourced. Controlling newly conquered lands requires more effort than one might think. I agree. Outpost assimilation. We have it now. Sick. I need one of these guys to go into here. And resume the occupation. Lovely. Impressive. A cultural wonder that makes me want to pull out my toy blocks and go crazy. Cultural wonder? Well, who, who's the cultural wonder? Guess we're attacking this horse ranch. Um, you're probably going to try to attack them. You're going to try to attack this horse ranch. Um, which will involve bringing in these guys. Both sides are evenly matched. Let's do a manual battle. Then. End deployment. Retake your flag! Why, why do we have to retake our flag? Oh, because these guys are moving into the spot. That makes sense. That does indeed make the most sense. I have faith in our units. We don't have any, like, horse units yet or anything like that. But I think that our uh, Gestati are pretty strong. Gestati. Like this. We have retaken our flag. Have this one chill out there. Uh, this guy is going to defend because he's probably about to get his booty beat a little bit. Um, we need to research hydrology. Sounds pretty good. Now we simply must defend our flag. Why am I not seeing the, the battle outcomes here? These hoplites are scary, dude. They are indeed a little bit spooky. And then these, I think, are just citizens, so they might not even attack us. Yeah, they're levies. Okay. Go ahead and have these guys swing in here. We're probably going to lose a unit. It's going to be unfortunate. Oh, these guys are 
lot stronger than I kind of expected. This is a little sketchy here. But, I think we can claim a victory to some extent. Um, is there a way that we can get, like, flanking on these guys? No way we can get flanking on these guys, huh? I just don't know if we can possibly swing in enough to make too much of a difference on these. I suppose we have no option but to try here. Our side is stronger overall. This unit can't attack this round. Yeah, I think that we just swing in here. We hope for the best. I don't think that they're going to be strong enough to like actually kill one of our units. Battle will continue next turn. Okay, end turn. Battle continues. You attack here. You attack here. Ugh, it hurts. It hurts a lot. You claim this area as your own. And then you go defensive. These guys are also going defensive, and you're going defensive. Okay. Yeah, we'll call that good for now. Go ahead and move these. We got some potential reinforcements on the way. Uh, they'll try to make their way in at least. And these boys are continuing to move. So... I still don't know, so we, this is reoccupied, which I think has it, has it chilling at 30%. It's good for us. Uh, what does a computer do if I go into auto battle here? Because it still says that our side is stronger. Which I assume means that we have, like, a predicted victory here. But they look like they have a lot of reinforcements. We lost. I must have messed up there somehow. So we can bring in this secondary troop. Um... Okay, we should have maintained the siege there. I didn't realize that we were able to actually siege that. We should have gotten ourselves independent people. Uh, you can now assimilate to this independent people. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want to assimilate this independent people. Because they'd become a city, wouldn't they? Let's try it just to see. An we assimilate them. Has been added to your empire. So they do they become a city. Small, but great things can come from small beginnings. Which is interesting. Um, I'm not super sure what to do with that. Just turn them all into soldiers. We'll do that for now. Uh, these guys are... Oh, we, I guess we do get their troops here, huh? So we can kind of start their troops a marching. But the fact that we're now gaining so little because of the city cap is a little bit spooky for me. Okay, so you're now there. End turn. We're continuing the, the uh, siege here. Uh, I think one more turn we'll get a second siege engine. Which we will do. Um, sleepy troops, hydrology research, perfect. Uh, another sleepy troop down here. We'll just keep on the march. These guys cannot join unless in the air, inner area. The sands of time. Recently traveling across this antique and antique desert land in the hinterlands of your empire, you came across a curious sight, two vasts of trunkless legs of stone, besides which light a shat shattered visage. On the pedestal these words, look on my works and despair, nothing beside remained. The image still haunts you to this day. Whoever raised this civilization has now forgotten, and in all their achievements gone, even their name lost to the winds. 
Today, you reign supreme, the most famed leader in the world, and that you still... You, will, yet will you still be remembered in a century, a millennium, an aeon? How best to define your immortality? Preach, write, or venerate? Uh, you know, let's write. Let's get some patriotism in here. Confirm. Uh, philosophy's fine. Philosophy should research pretty quickly. And this combat should be ready to go. Assault. Um, just instant resolution me. We have taken over Kerma. Natural wonder. Lake Hillier. You discovered a unique natural wonder. A number of these exist around the world. Discovery of natural wonder grants fame and science and science cities. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So if you have a natural wonder. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. It's pink. Victory at Kerma. War support against the Greeks increases. Are the Greeks still on the map? Sovereign. Understood. We have a traitor badge. Understand. Winning a war. You're at war. In humankind, a war is won by forcing your opponent to surrender. In order to do so, you need to play in a way that will bring their population's war support to zero. The same rule applies to you. The empire with war support against the empire goes down when losing a battle, a city, or being at long at war for far too long. Conversely, war support against an empire goes up by winning battles and doing other cool stuff. Okay? Um... Their war support is currently nine. So we're very, very close to winning this war. Understood. We just need to find a couple more of their units to uh to hunt down here. And that's the whole continent either owned by us, right? This doesn't line off to another continent. There's no way. They're owned by us or heavily influenced by us. Uh, so, their war support should be hitting zero at some point. Just going to station you here for now. Turn pending. Loading. Loading. What is this? A new wonder can be claimed. Close to victory in the war. The Greeks have are about to lose their war support. Heck yeah. What does this do? Agrarian. Trigger migration from territories adjacent to selected city. Its population will increase, but neighboring empires will gain grievances against you. What the heck? Um, the Persians. There's currently people being mutinous in Napata. Population gain. Okay. Don't worry. We are about to win the war, in which case Napata should, uh, should be okay. Cultural conversion of this territory can be achieved in two turns. I would like that, yes. Speaking of which, I can now detach this, right? Oh, the city is occupied. Interesting. So, we culturally convert this area. Okay, everything is going to be culturally converted. Everything is culturally the Celts. Except for this little spot over here where Lake Hillier is. What is this? Forcing surrender. You're forcing the Greeks to surrender. Select surrender terms you want from them. All their demands will be erased. Okay. Uh, yes. So we are now spending our war support. Interesting. Become a vassal to the Celts. The Shrining Empire will become a vassal to the Celts, abandoning their diplomatic independence to their new liege. I like that. Um, and also give me, uh, give me intent. Cannot be done. Oh, so we don't have enough war support to make them our vassals. Interesting. But I want them to become vassals. How do I make you a vassal state? I want you to give me Intan, and I want you to become vassals of my grand empire. War support. Until the winner's war support is consumed. Okay, so you, what if you just give me Intan, 
and then you give me uh Napata. It's interesting. Plus a little bit in reparations. Force surrender. Most gracious thanks. For both of our aspirations. For both of our aspirations. Please give me a moment. Okay, so we are now at peace. They, I guess, get two of their uh, areas back. Interestingly. And we are chilling. We're still pretty culturally dominant here. They only have their capital. Which I'm guessing I could potentially like try to culturally take over. We just didn't have the war support to uh, to do what we needed to do there, it seemed like. So if I go up here. No, yeah, this is this is all attached. I wonder why there's this dotted line here. Oh, it's because it's that um, area. That makes super sense. Um, offer to trade luxuries. Potentially. I will accept your offer. We are agreed. This um, makes me content. Let's also just trade everything. For both of our aspirations. Acknowledge. Great things. This will lead to great and we have to things. wait five turns or uh, do something else. Okay. Cool. So at this point, we are currently trespassing, so we're gonna get our troops out of there. I understand. I understand that we are trespassing. We are leaving now, do not worry. Uh, we currently have five cities of the two that is our limit, which is a problem. It is a problem to deal with. Uh, let's go ahead and spam out some more of these for La Venta. Okay. Uh, and for you, I mean, honestly, I kind of want to just do the same. I want to get us, like, souped up here so that we can, um, Leventa has increased in population. Resource sold. Okay. We have a lot of money. We just don't have a lot of influence, which is a problem. Avatar will gain plus six. You'll attract five population from their areas. Um... I wonder if there's a way... Oh, they had another settlement over here. Okay, that's fair. I do wonder if there's a way to, like, culturally take over these areas. I'm sure that there is. We'll just have to find it. So let's go ahead and idle for a couple of turns here. We're probably going to dismiss a couple armies. Um... Where is the dismiss an army button? Why would you want to ransack? No. Clear forest? What does clearing forest do? Is it like chopping? Uh, industry boost is granted. Use it on territory it belong to. Okay, interesting. Sure, you go clear that forest. Let's see how much of a boost we get from that. Um, You know what time it is. Time to spam out some city upgrades. Debate and discussion are not the pastimes of the philosophy has been researched. Of Perfect. Movers, Craftsmanship. Aspect of civilization. What is this? The Celts? The Greeks have an interest in this. Yes, I know the Greeks have an interest in this. Okay, so this isn't a claimable territory. My my brain was just like breaking for some reason. Um so, I mean, let's bring some of our population down, right? That's something that we want to do. Or is it something that we want to do? I'm here in San Lorenzo. I do want to build a dock. Hopefully very soon. 
Um, it looks like we can actually just you have speed that up. To construct and launch the vessels of the Empire. Research quarter. Time to stock up on champagne bottles. There's no really great spot for a research quarter. It looks like no matter where we put it, we're only getting three science. Which might be a lot, but also might not be a lot. So let's just put a research corner down there. Um... I thought that we already had a market quarter, but absolutely build one. We do already have a... Oh, we do have market quarters, I think. Um, is there a resource that we can put this artisan's quarter on? Up there. Perfect. Okay. So, we have the ability to make boats. Move this up and just buy a boat. And set this guy to... Can I set you to auto-explore? Yes. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I kind of feel like just setting all of my troops to auto-explore for the time being. Can't be done when the army is currently trespassing. Understood. Just have these boys patrol the nation. Our grand nation will be patrolled. Go ahead and auto-explore, buddy. There's an encampment up here. What the heck? Non-hostile tribe who roams the surrounding wildlands has settled this sackable camp. Well, sorry to break it to you, buddy. It's getting getting sacked. If it's sackable camp, it's sackable. Okay, population games, ransack select successful. Our total city cap went down, went up. Plus one city cap from philosophy. We can get more city cap. It's possible. We can do it. Okay. That is actually exciting. So, set all these boys to naturally explore. Oh, they can just pop into the water. Look at that. And we'll see. Um, army lost at sea. Units in the army uh, were destroyed next turn if they remain in deep waters. Is this you? Take, take me there. Get out of the deep waters, you silly billy. Uh, I guess that means that we have to... Uh, we have to get some research done for naval stuff, huh? Imperial power. Commons quarter. Siege tactics. Foreign outposts. Larger and heavier than the Penta Quantum Mirror. Carry more royers and more punch. Mounted Warfare is something that we will need to research. Uh, let me just see. What's our next, like, water-based? War Summons, Crossbowmen and Pikemen, Heavy Infantry, nice. Seafaring Mastery. Um, that's kind of what we want to get to next, I suppose. After we finish this craftsmanship, of course. Currently gaining 100 science per turn. And turn. Population grow. Army is going to be lost at sea if it stays in deep waters. Oh, I think that's fine. I think it can still cross just fine and hopefully not die at sea. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Just auto explore, buddy. Uh, we end the turn. Trespassing army destroyed. Army destroyed due to trespassing. Where? I'm trying to get him out of there, dude. He's running. I guess he, he shouldn't be... Uh, Army lost at sea, potentially. Coastal water with pearl jams. Okay, well, let's, let's auto-explore or not auto-explore with this. Curiosity collected. We found a gold hoard. Nice. Let's not auto-explore with our naval unit there. Um, yeah, just keep on keeping on with your auto-exploration. More era stars are being unlocked. We're getting pretty famous. Cool. Uh, this is doing what it's supposed to be doing. We can unlock our more religious stuff. Celts are the religious leader. We are currently very, very religiously dominant on our um, on our main island here. Go to the tenant screen. 
Yield to none. Plus 10 war support on grievance, trigger relations. Undertake pilgrimage. Minus 25% cost of enacting civic on an empire. Minus 25% cost of canceling civic on an empire. Um, Give alms. Let's undertake pilgrimage. Yeah, let's do that. Choose this tenant. Okay. We must pilgrimage. New tenant for the Olmex polytheism. The Celts enacted undertake pilgrimage in another religion. We are pilgrimatic. Let's see what this little dude is getting up to down here. Cool. This dude. Oh, this looks nice up here. I don't want to establish a little territory up here. I'm not going to lie to you. Although it's kind of stinky. That's a 5-3. That's a 3-6. This 5-4 might be our best one. Yeah, have you guys establish a new outpost here. Craftsmanship research. Nice. Okay. Moving on a couple turns here. Outpost is in the process of being created. Yes, I'm well aware that the uh, people are interested. Okay, uh, you are going back on auto-explore. You are not auto-exploring, but you're manually exploring. We gotta get our um, merchant from afar. Bang, bang, bang! A rabble of traders faring strange wares comes knocking at San Lorenzo's gates, demanding an audience. I tell you they'll hail from a faraway land, having traveled many leagues along one of your fabled trade routes. They claim to offer merchandise that will be profitable. But they also look rather haggard and exhausted. Do you agree to let them in? Yeah. Chance of unexpected consequences. Heck yeah. Bring it you in. have reached the end of an ideology axis. Of all the epithets other empires may use for you, wishy-washy won't be one of them. <laughs> okay. Apparently we reached the end of an ideology the axis. Trouble comes. Five market quarters should provide you with a number of pragmatic answers. Okay. Trespassing army destroyed! Acknowledge. Understandable. It's Sparta! Hmm. Still, a little, I'm actually a little bit worried about the Greeks. I'm not gonna lie. I, I still don't quite understand how war works. But I'm a little bit worried about the Greeks. Show unclaimed wonders. Well, there's probably nothing that I can claim here. Wait, there is actually something I can claim. Plus 20% turns before being converted to by another religion on city outpost. Plus fame. Eh. Can only be but once. Gives you faith and a little bit of fame. I don't really care about that wonder. Is that just me? Fall in. Fall in. Okay, you're going over there. San Lorenzo, you're done crafting things. That doesn't seem right. Just keep upgrading. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Nice. Might run some games at some point. And I feel... I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think we're like... We're, we're, we're plotting along here. Plus some more money... So we'll get these guys to continue exploring, hopefully. We should be pretty close to our deep sea exploration ability. So now we have the Huns as neighbors. Raiders on horseback. It's going to be a challenge to put up with them. Hello, Huns. Greetings, Sovereign. Do you too believe that there is no limit to how high humanity might soar? Interesting. Uh, we will be uh, ending this episode there. It looks like we might be lagging a little bit here. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. Do the YouTube thing. That's what YouTube's here to do. I'm going to be back with some more of this game. I'm loving it so far. Peace.